Hi, babies. I want to talk about the devil. Boo! Ew. <laughs> I know there are some paths that have uh, been ventured down by some people like me that have experienced religious detox, that have deconstructed a lot of belief systems and stuff like that, and I half of you don't even believe in the devil. So, I'm aware of this. However, I want to draw this out. I've actually got a whole schmeal on uh, Luciferian doctrine that I've been meaning to throw into a, a video. I've been meaning to do that for a while. Just the, the tenets of the Satanic Bible and how utterly ridiculous they are. Just a, a total blindness and non-comprehension of the gospel. I mean, if, if there was a, a comprehension of the gospel, I mean, it's just like, it's just it's all reaction against how they perceive Christians. They're just perceiving, they're, they're just reacting. Because say, satanic Luciferia doctrine is just a, a reaction. But, I woke up this morning and I, it was just, the, the, the devil was just basically saying, you suck. <laughs> you gotta laugh, you liar. And, and, and I've got to encapsulate this. I mean, there is a form of spiritual warfare here going on and I don't care if you burn sage. I don't care if you chant, you know, Go to your counselors, what, whatever. I mean, if, if there is a stronghold, if there is a sin, if there is a fiery dart that gets identified, blow it away. I mean, the authority of the believer. We What we bind on earth is bound in heaven. What we loose on earth is loosed in heaven. Tread upon snakes and scorpions. Jesus said, out of all the power of the enemy, I've, give, I've given you authority. Cast out devils and heal sicknesses and open the eyes of the blind. Undo the works of the devil. Instead of sitting around wringing our hands about, oh, what is the devil? Or if there even is the devil, why don't you look at some of the corruption, the malady, the trauma, the affliction that's going on in the world? I mean, if you're burning your sage and going to your counselor is going to undo any of that, knock yourselves out. However, if there there is malicious intent behind any of this stuff, it's, it's like, well, let's, I'm not going to go out and look for this stuff. I used to be quite the spiritual warfare, war, war, spiritual warrior and demon hunter, and that, that gets a little obsessive and unhealthy. It's immaturity. The, 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 the spirits are subject to us in the name of Jesus, though. Literally, they are. So I woke up this morning, and I didn't wait around wringing my hands, wondering if I should burn sage or go to a counselor or cry or have some sort of breakdown. I mean, it, it was like just in that sweet spot in the morning, in the twilight, where the Holy Spirit actually likes to come and speak sweetly to us, there's a transgression that happens. And some of you are all are driven by haste right out the door, getting your pants on and eating your toast and your coffee and making sure you can go out and punch that clock. That's a stronghold of the devil by itself, but I won't go there. But there's a sweet spot, a twilight moment, a theta brainwave session uh, that occurs in our, our waking moments. And if there's a transgression that comes upon those moments when the Holy Spirit desires to speak to us, I'm on it. It's a transgression. So, and, and the, the warfare occurs in the mind. The battlefield is the mind. And so these thoughts came to me about that I'm in over my head. What were they? I, I, I pounded them so far into the ground, I can't even remember what they are. That, uh, oh, I feel trapped. I'm trapped. I feel unsafe. These demands for, from, from caregiving are, are, are sucking the life out of me and they're going to kill me. 
So I identified those things, those three points, those three thoughts came in my mind. Fiery darts, malicious intent. They were, yes, they were lobbed by a devil. And I engaged them as if they were lobbed by a devil. Well, I said, excuse me, Mr. Devil. The love of God is shed abroad into my heart daily by the power of the Holy Spirit. My mind is new. He's renewed me in the spirit of my mind. And if you even be that former figure of the Antichrist or little horn that says he will come along and wear off the saints, you know what? The Lord renews me daily. So, I mean, he attempts to wear us out. But he has no comprehension. The light has come into the world. We are light babies. And in his light, we see light. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. You are the salt of the earth. And this is totally beyond the comprehension of these liars that come along and seek to wear us out and keep us on a treadmill and keep us engaged in the courses of this world. Our courses aren't according to the courses of this world. The caregiving and, and some of the demands on our lives, they appear to be under the, in the courses of this world, but we, we, we check out. We are fully able to check out. So I just wanted to throw this out that there there is spiritual warfare. And I, I'm, I'm not less ascended. I am, I am I'm not battling my flesh. I am not conjuring my own imaginations. We literally deal with devils in this life. And when, one, when, when, when any of these things come across our path, blow them away. 